If sampling indicates varroa mite levels in your colonies are high enough to exceed thresholds or cause concern, consider treatments that fit within your integrated pest management strategy. For more information on integrated pest management and mite thresholds, see the Tools for Varroa Management Guide and the Introduction and Sampling Methods videos in this series. This video shows when and how to use Apivar for varroa mite control. Other videos in this series discuss varroa sampling methods and other control chemicals and techniques. You can use Apivar during the population increase phase if there are at least eight weeks before you add honey supers to the colonies. Do not use Apivar during the population peak phase when honey supers are present. You can use it during the population decrease phase after honey supers are removed. Apivar is not effective during the dormant phase. Repeated multiple use each year may hasten mite resistance. Apivar contains 3.3% concentration of the miticide amitraz, which is impregnated in rigid polymer strips. Always read the product labels to make sure that you are applying Apivar properly and safely. Wear protective nitrile or latex gloves to prevent skin irritation. Open the foil package and separate the double strips. Then hang one strip for every five frames of brood. You can use a toothpick or nail to suspend the strips between two frames. Be sure to hang strips between frames containing brood where bees can walk on both sides of the strip. Space strips at least two frames apart. For colonies with five or fewer frames of brood, use only a single strip. As bees walk on the impregnated strips, they pick up the miticide and spread it by contact to other bees in the hive. Check the strips every two to three weeks to ensure that bees remain in constant contact with them. Make sure that strips remain between brood frames for the full treatment period. Because Apivar is a continuous, slow-release contact pesticide, you may not immediately see dead mites. Leave the Apivar strips in the hive for a minimum of six weeks, but not more than eight weeks. Treat all colonies in the apiary at the same time. At the end of the treatment period, remove the Apivar strips. Do not reuse them. After removing Apivar, Wait two more weeks before adding honey supers to the colony. Resample the colony's mite levels after completing treatment to confirm that the treatment was effective and that mites are not developing resistance. Apivar can be a useful tool within an integrated pest management program for reducing varroa mite populations. When used as directed, it leaves no residue in honey and only low levels in beeswax. Apivar is generally recognized as highly effective and safe, both for beekeepers and bees. Thanks for watching this video from the Honey Bee Health Coalition. Visit honeybeehealthcoalition.org and download the Tools for Varroa Management Guide, which has more detailed information on all the topics in this video series. All videos are provided free of charge, and we encourage you to share them.